Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, I'm commissioning a Ford Transit van for Liam Hogan at the moment. You can see the screen on the left there. Uh, he's got a Scotty in there, of course, and uh, you can see here that uh, the power on the left there starts to wind up. The DC loads box is the one we're looking at. Um, but Liam's done a lot more than just have an excellent commissioning here. It just went first class. He's done some fairly special things in this van. And uh, rather than me explain it, I thought we'd hear it in his own words. This is the install on the Ford Transit here. And uh, one of the things that I've added in um, is this storage mode switch. So what happens is uh, when we flick this over like this, just we get an alarm up on the turbo. We just dismiss that. And what that's going to do is uh, it's going to disable our charging sources. So our two solar controllers are charging from Scotty and charging from the MultiPlus. Uh, but it's going to keep all the load switched on and just let the batteries char discharge down to about 50%. And um, at that point, it'll switch off all the loads. And uh, if it drops any further below that, it'll just use the solar to, to top it back up to about 50%. And that's just so that if the van is not going to be used for a while, um, it'll help to keep the batteries healthy by not constantly uh, topping them up to 100%. And then... Switching back to normal mode allows them to be charged back up again. I've also added in this uh, automatic hot water dump load. So when that's on the auto mode, um, if the batteries are fully charged or almost fully charged, but we're still generating power, so like here from the solar, uh, instead of that excess energy going to waste, it'll use that to heat up our hot water system here. So we've modified this uh, with an extra 12 volt heater inside as well as the 240 volt. And uh, that way, yeah, any excess energy will be diverted into that. And if the batteries drop down too low, that'll automatically switch off. The last thing to show you here is just the uh, changes to the interface that we've done here. On the overview page, it just gives us a bit more information. We've got um, voltage and current um, flow. We've got our tanks and temperatures down the bottom there. And also has some touch controls, so we can click on the inverter here and select that mode there. When shore power is connected here, we can change our current limit. So I've got these two presets there for that. And it also gives us these power gauges on everything that's set to uh, uh, our loads. So the solar set, that's about 600 watts, which is our maximum there. And I'll show you on the inverter here, I've just got a big heater connected. So if I switch that on, you can see our loads will increase up here. It's coming on now, and you can see the gauge goes up, just so we know approximately how much of the power we're using. You can see the battery, the discharge gauge is, uh, is coming, coming on there. If I switch that off, there we go, it'll go back down. And we've got the secondary page here, with just a different view. And we can also add a few things like uh, relay control um, if we want. Uh, so I have one of them set as our 12 volt master as well. So if we want to turn on and off all of our loads, we can do it that way. Thank you, Liam. And if you want to build your own customized van, then uh, we can prepare the exact power pack to drop into the space that you nominate. Uh, we come in and uh, assist you in the commissioning. The whole system's pre-tested. We assist you in the commissioning, guide you on any customization that you want to do so that you can end up with exactly the electric power pack uh, that you or your customer want. I have to say, how good's that?